the Brickhead Family. Hey guys, Hi. welcome back to Hitting the Bricks with the Brickhead Family. Brickhead Experience. And I hope you guys have your passports out today because we're taking a trip to Taylor City. Tennessee, y'all. <laughs> Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Pigeon Forge, Taylor City. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we went down there and uh, stayed in a cabin. Yeah. Yep. On a mountain. On a mountain. Almost to the top of the mountain. Yep. Yeah. Almost <laughs> to the very top of this mountain. Even I swear, I felt like I was driving for a year Shady getting up. up the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. Even when it was pouring oh, rain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we got there, it was pouring rain. So it looked like a freaking waterfall coming down the road while yeah. we're trying to drive up the side of this mountain. This is our first adventure to a mountain. We've been to a few other places but never actually went up the mountains and stayed in a cabin. It's our first trip for that family. I've never yeah. been in the cabin. No, nope, neither have I. Neither have I. Uh, so uh, here's a little bit of fun uh, watching our road trip because <laughs> it's probably about a 12, 13 hour drive. Yeah. Uh, from our, where we live to the cabin. Yeah. So we had a lot of fun in the car. Yes, and we got a lot of time. Um, and uh, see some great sites to check out some cool things. A lot of road games. Yeah. 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 And we loved listening to All uh, About That Bass. <laughs> Lock up the house and hit the road. Hit the road. Hit the road. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, no. Welcome to Tennessee. Tennessee? No, I'm Tennessee. Base, 
And then we finally made it to the cabin after seeing all about the base 1,000 times. <laughs> yep. Just for this guy here. Yep. And when we got to the cabins, one word? Breathtaking. Breathtaking. Taking. Beautiful. The view was gorgeous. Yes. Absolutely gorgeous. We got a little break in the rain and the cloud cover it brightened up and you got to see the smoke coming out of the mountains, which is why it's called the Smokies. Yeah. Yep. It was amazing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, our cabin was fully loaded. We had a hot tub. An arcade. Arcade. Full tables. A giant TV for the kids. Yep. 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 Big old uh, bedrooms in the big old loft that these guys stayed in. The beds were comfy. Full yeah. kitchen. Very comfy. Yeah, our full kitchen. We had the nice living space, which we never really used the living room. Yeah. <laughs> we ate in the dining portion. Everything else we were out and about. We were on our two decks. We had yeah. two decks. The yeah, upper and lower deck. Rocking yeah. chairs, swings. Yeah, it was That's beautiful. Right. And, hot. and yeah, to sit in the hot tub and lay back and look out at the mountain view. Yeah. It was, it was absolutely awesome. Yeah. The yes. cabin worked really well. We had nine people total in there. Um, very spacious for us, even with the little babies. We had three kids under two years old there with us. And, you know, they slept in the loft with the kids. And then you could be downstairs or down in the arcade area, watch some TV, and feel like, you know, you're still close, but far enough away where you can enjoy yourself. Yeah, it was fully loaded, like I said. It had yeah. Wi Fi, it had, uh, you know, satellite. And the TV was on a deck. Yeah, they had a TV on a deck, so when you're laying in the hot tub, you could watch TV. Now, we got our cabin through Cabins for You. That's where we rented it, and they have hundreds of different types of cabins. Ours was Eye on the Smokies. Oh, well, Eye on the Smokies. And Remember that. They're I, all different. I will be back in the Smokies for yeah. sure. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So each cabin was different. They have different accommodations from anywhere from two to, I think, like 30, 40, 50 people even at different cabin sizes and different themes or whatever you're looking for. Check them out. Um, this fit us very well, though. Oh, and, yeah. oh, right. and we had a dishwasher. That was awesome. <laughs> he's excited. He's our, he's our yeah, dishwasher. He's our dishwasher here. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here's some video footage of this beautiful cabin. Check it out, guys.
I hope you enjoyed that beautiful cabin. Uh, while down in Pigeon Forge, there's tons of stuff to do. So yes, much. So between much. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge, and they're both towns that have a lot to do, and in Pigeon Forge, maybe a little bit more, um, but we were smack dab in the middle, so. Yep, and, uh, and right in the heart of Pigeon Forge is this place called The Island. Yes. It's like a big boardwalk type of area. Where you go down and they have big, uh, Mer not Mer what are those, Ferris There's wheels. Ferris wheels. Ferris wheels. A fountain show. Yeah. They had a huge arcade. They had, um, A train. Yeah, they had a train. Uh, a a lot big, of different restaurants, shopping. Uh, a rope course. Yeah. Which you'll see in this video. Did you always uh, say arcade? <laughs> yeah, arcade. Yep. And, uh, uh, it was it was fun. It was yeah. huge, yeah. you know. Yep. Uh, Margaritaville was there. That was my my mm -hmm. gig right there. Yeah. Uh, but so, I didn't go to Margarita. Uh, you still yeah. too young yet. <laughs> so uh, check out the island. It's. Yeah. That was the island, and uh, right in front of the island was this eatery place. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, it's more like a, a show. It's, yeah. a show. it's a show. It's a show. Dinner and a show. It's an experience. Mm -hmm. There you go. And it's called the Lumberjack <laughs> Adventure. Uh, really cool, guys. Really oh, cool. when we walked in there, it was huge. They had yep. this band out there, little country band, you know, doing their little shtick, mm -hmm. yep. uh, which you'll see some in the video. And then once we were led out of there, we went into this big pavilion big. where everyone was sitting around. Yes, it uh, was huge. It was huge, and uh, we had teams. Yeah, yeah. Each side had a team of lumberjacks that would go out and lumberjack for them. Uh, the food, though, amazing. that was amazing. That was amazing. This twenty dollars got you a show. The twenty dollars adult price got you the show and the dinner, which was way more than we expected. We yes. all kids and adults got the same meal for different prices. Kids price, I don't remember how much it was, but yeah, you got chicken, a whole chicken breast, pulled pork, potato, and <laughs> potatoes, yeah, potato. you got a vegetable, a biscuit, and a pie. A pie at the end. Yeah. And then yeah. you could choose between like a Pepsi. Coke, yeah, Pepsi, sweet tea. or a down home sweet tea. Down home sweet tea. Water. Yeah. And it was all included. I mean they 
you ate while you watched the show. Yeah. Yeah. And the yeah. show was wow. very entertaining. I, yes. I, I, I really enjoyed it. For, yeah. for $20 a person, I would say it's a very good experience yeah. for down there in P Pigeon Forge. Yeah. Because uh, it was kind of a pricey place to, to go to. Yeah. And I thought this was probably one of the best values you can find. Yeah, and it has funny parts in it too. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, the dancing dogs. Yeah, the dancing <laughs> dogs and stuff like that. Get your tickets early though. They yep. do yeah. sell out. They only do a couple shows a day on certain days, maybe only one show. Get them in advance. Uh, so yeah. uh, here's the Lumberjack Adventure. Lumberjack Adventure, and uh, I believe both teams won, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, one of the best parts, I thought, was uh, at the very top of the mountain we were staying at, was this beautiful, awesome pool. Cool. Yeah. It's private to some of the cabins. Um, some of them it's included, some it's not. We, we made it up there on ours. and. There was really only a couple of other people up there with us. It was oh, yeah. pretty private, and you could see everywhere. You see all the other mountains. It was yeah, and, and it was cool. It had like this little gazebo out part that had a fireplace. You could go and relax, you know, TV. at night. It had a TV in it. And it had a uh, sauna. It had a sauna and a steam room. Mm -hmm. I thought they were both the same, but evidently they're not. <laughs> Also, um, we saw zip lining. Yeah, zip lining. You can watch all the zip lining from there. While you're in the, the pool, the just sitting there. But I will see. give you guys a tip. When <laughs> yeah. you're at the top of the mountain, you're a little screen. You're a little bit closer to the sun. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And just I will say, Mama Brickhead got roasted. Yes. She Let got. Stay puff marshmallow. Yes. Yeah. Even though we all. Really applied our sunscreen. Apparently, we didn't do it enough, or more often enough as we should have. Um, so yeah, so anytime you're on higher altitude, please yeah, reapply every 15-20 minutes. You yes. cannot have enough. So, <laughs> I spent a couple of weeks yeah, rested. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was uh, having to apply a lot of aloe for mommy and brickhead for the rest of our trip. Yes. But the kids had a blast. I thought it was great. The water was perfect in that perfect. hot sun. Check it out.
also, while in Pigeon Forge, you'll find a lot of go-karts and mini, mini pot places out of many things that are to do down there. Yes. Um, we found this really cool go-kart place. It was called the, the Wild Willy, right? Woody. The Wild Woody. Wild Woody, Wild Woody go karts. Uh, they we took the whole family there. We went mini putting. We went go karting. We they had, had a, like a little uh, boats. yeah bump boats. Golfing. What was the the little kitty place where okay. they went on like little little kitty rides? Oh, little kitty rides. Yep. Yeah. Arcade too. Another arcade. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they had two different mini putts. I mean, this place took up, you know, I would say probably two or three blocks worth of land space. And yeah. They had a lot to do. Oh. And yeah. We seen about half of it. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. And uh, it was it was just me, big brickhead, and medium brickhead went on the go karts. Yes. Yeah. And. Big Brickhead had probably about a two minute head start from oh, us. Okay. And nope, hold on. <laughs> and us being in a two man go kart, because he can't drive yet. Yep. He hasn't got we his license. We overtook him in the last lap and beat him. Yep. Yeah, okay. Mine like shut off early. Oh, no, 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 no excuses. No excuses. He lost. Some, uh, some mini putting, uh, but now it's time to close this sucker up. All right, so at first, let's give our rating on what we gave the cabin. Uh, what would you give the cabin? Five. Five. Uh, what was your best part of the cabin? Uh, the arcade. 
Arcade? Actually, the hot tub. The hot <laughs> he, did, tub? he did try and get yep. it quite a bit. What about you, Big Brick Head? Five! Five. Five. What was your favorite part? Playing pool with you guys. That was fun. Uh, yeah, pool table is pretty good. Oh, and the art, the Donkey Kong game. That was an awesome. Oh. So by you, Daddy. I give it a five. And I went into this vacation kicking and screaming. Yes, he did. Yes. Because to me, I thought we were going to a cabin in the woods to either get manslaughtered <laughs> or ate by bear <laughs> and when we had to forge for our own food. It, this totally took me by surprise in how awesome this trip actually became for me. Yes. Because I am the the beach guy. I'm the guy that likes to sit on the beach with my margarita and the just chill. Pina colada. <laughs> but I will say the cabin was awesome. I, I was blown away by it. I loved sitting in the hot tub. That was my favorite part of the yeah. whole cabin was the hot tub. Sitting in the hot tub at night, watching the stars. Shooting stars. Shooting stars. We saw yeah. tons of shooting yeah. stars up there. And uh, it made me want to go back Even to a this cabin. And I would. I would. I definitely. Me we too. will definitely be going back to this yep. cabin. Yes, we would. I'd give it a five as well. The cabin was. All that I expected, because I booked the trip. <laughs> Mommy picked it. Um, I loved everything about it. I don't know that I would change a whole lot. Um, definitely, maybe invite more friends and family next time and do an even bigger trip tour. You know, hey, just go by yourself. So I was okay with that too. Yep. Hot tub probably would have been one of my two favorite parts of it. The other part was waking up in the morning and walking out of our bedroom no, and no, seeing no, that no, seeing the view. No, that view was tremendously awesome. And well, we were in the loft and they had like mirrors on like the top of the... In windows. The, <laughs> the, they had windows on top of the one wall where you can walk out onto the deck and you can see the mountains like over it. Oh, it was, they had the cool. highest view in the, in the cabin. Yeah, and then the one day we had a little bit of rain and when we walked out we saw Double, Double rainbows. rainbows! What does it mean? And we'll show you a picture in our in our closing here of the double rainbows. So, um, what about the other stuff? We we gotta kinda rate that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you guys think of the island? Was that a cool place to go to? Yep. What would you give it? Five. A five? Oh. What would you give it? Uh four. A four? Yep, I would probably give it probably about a four. It wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. Yeah. I thought it was going to be more expansive as the one that we were down in uh, Myrtle Beach. Mm -hmm. I would have to say I'd give it about a three. I was okay with it. It wasn't as big as I expected. It wasn't what I was anticipating again from other vacations and what I thought of it. But um, they had some really cool things in there. I did like the Lumberjack and Margaritaville is one of my favorites. So. We like that, but I wish there was just a little bit more to do for the family, a little bit bigger area for them. That was my my reason for the three. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we could all say that the Lumberjacks, do we all give it a five? Yeah. 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 It was a great show, great food. I'd mm -hmm. go back to Alright, and uh, go-karts. What do you give go-karts, guys? Five. The go-kart place. Four. A four? The four. I'd agree with that. Yeah, yeah I would say about four, too. It's, it's your... It's your vacation hotspot, you know, yeah. where you're going to go somewhere and you're going to play mini putt. Yep. That's and, what you're going to do. And do go karts. Yeah. Yep. 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 Even one. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so we are at the Brickhead family. Yep. Check us out on Facebook. Like us. Comment. Share. Check us on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. <laughs> and follow our buddy Left Shark here on uh, Instagram. Alright, well you guys let us know what you thought, let us know if you've been to the cabin, if you have, mm -hmm. what you thought about it, or hey, if you're planning on going because of us. <laughs> yep. you know, yeah. Uh, give us a shout and uh, we'll, we'll give you some tips what to do down there. Absolutely. Yep. I am Daddy Brickhead. And Mommy Brickhead. And Rachel Brickhead. <laughs> Big Brickhead. Slane. See ya. See ya.